Aloha friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for this week's vlog. It's Friday morning, I just did my makeup but I'm about to dry my hair. I finally washed it. I think it's been six days, that's what's up. Today is a very busy fun day. It's actually already almost 11. I kind of slept in until eight this morning and then just responded to emails, did some work stuff. But today we are in the process of starting to get rid of some of our furniture to get new furniture. I am doing a whole video on redoing our home yet again. So today you'll see the process of us getting rid of some furniture. And like I said, a whole separate video dedicated to the complete redo of the home will be coming soon. We are also going to do a subscription box unboxing, a box that I loved from a massive subscription box unboxing video sent me a new one. So we'll open that up together. And then I thought it would also be fun later today to have like matcha time together and catch up because I need to update you on all of my health stuff, all of this stuff. And um, I've been getting a lot of questions about JNC the label. I actually have a little bit of tea to spill about JNC the label. We've had to make some changes and I will update you on that. Oh, and also sneak peek of part of our home redo. We got a new rug and I love it so much not sponsored. I bought it. It was normally $500 for an eight by 10 and it's on sale for $179. Hopefully it's still on sale by the time this vlog comes out next week. And if so, I'll link it down below for you, but it's like a very thick, soft rug and we have loved it so much and it doesn't bunch over our carpet at all, which has been awesome. And Max loves it a ton. So we've been very excited about that. Okay. I'm going to dry my hair and I will catch up with you when it's time to unbox things. Okay. I got ready put on clothes, dried my hair, except for I didn't feel like styling it. So now it's just gonna be, be one big poofy straight mess. So what do you say we do a little quick subscription box unboxing? Does that sound fun? I also have a huge mail time planned for next week's vlog. I've been setting things aside that I've gotten in the mail for the last like three plus weeks. Cause I know that y'all love mail times. So that is gonna come next week. Things that brands have sent me, also things that you guys have sent me, but I have gotten a couple comments lately that have made me nervous to do a mail time. I do them because y'all on average love them so much, but I've had a couple people tell me that it seems materialistic, which kind of breaks my heart. So I hope you know that I'm trying to um, A, give you content that the majority of you like, B, give shout outs and thank yous to brands that are sweet enough to send things over, and C, give shout outs and thank yous to those of you who send me sweet notes and such to my PO box. But I understand if you don't like it, so let me know and I can stop doing them. But if the majority of people like them, also let me know. I think that they're really, really fun. So I enjoy filming them a lot, but that is coming next week. Even though now, thanks to those comments, I'm nervous about them coming out. This is the vlog, so I can be super transparent, right? Vlog fam is closer than, than most. That being said, I'm super excited to dive into this. Um, GU Box is sponsoring this unboxing within this vlog. So thank you to GU Box for sending this over. This was one of the boxes that if you remember, if you saw my massive subscription box unboxing, I was so blown away by the aesthetic of the packaging of every single item in the box. I haven't peeked inside of this one yet at all. So I don't know if that's a continuous theme across all their boxes or not. Is it too bright? Hold on, is that better? I feel like that lighting might be better. Um, a little bit softer of lighting. So they did give me a promo code last time for the massive subscription box unboxing. Let me pull it up. I assume it's still valid. I feel like I always say that. I should follow up with brands before I open them. Let me find that video. So, okay, last time it was Mikkel 10 for 10% off. This box is a little bit on the pricier side. It is $59.99 a season, but last time I remember thinking that that was worth the amount of quality and quantity of products inside. So we'll see if that stands true. Everything inside of the box is all natural and on average you get four to six full size products. So um, I'm gonna bring a chair over so that we can unbox this at eye level and we'll see what it is. All right, let's take a little peek. It's been really hard not to peek inside of this. Oh man, already killing it, look. I'll show you, okay. So Geobox is an indie beauty package with all natural, cruelty-free, personal Kel, Kel? I'm sounding like I'm trying to say my own name. Personal care and wellness products. Every item is hand-selected, vetted, and curated for each season. Join us on this box to discover your boutique in a box. And look at this. Oh good, yes! Mikkel 10 for 10% off their first box. 
It's still valid. That's amazing. How beautiful everything is. Is that not just stunning? Okay, so this does have the value of the products inside, so we can reference the value of everything. I hope I never get like jaded, I guess, with how cool subscription boxes are, but this one makes me feel like a kid again. I do think that this is probably in my top five. Okay, first we have something from OM, OM Organics. It's a face brightening mask with Superfruit AHA made in Canada. This has a $28.50 value. And some of the super fruit complexes come from pomegranate, star fruit, passion fruit, kiwi, guava, so many other things. Look at this. Look at this box. Look at that. <laughs> In my next life, I'm gonna go into packaging. <laughs> This is such a pretty container. How do they find all of these products that are just so stunning? That's what I wanna know. So already, the value of this is half of the cost of the box, which is a pretty good start in my opinion. Next, we have something from Wildcraft, which is called Restore Face Cream. Let's see what we can find out about this. This value is also at, oh, 21 USD, 28 Canadian dollars. The fact that this has Canadian dollars leads me to believe that it can ship to Canada. I know I've had a lot of people comment lately being like, I get so excited to order a box, but then it doesn't ship to Canada. So maybe this is the one for you. Deeply hydrating with a luxurious consistency. This face cream provides comfort and relief for dehydrated skin to normal skin. My skin lately has definitely been on the drier side, so this is like speaking my language. Wow, this is so pretty. Look at that. That is just stunning. Stunning. And it smells delicious. This is the type of stuff that if I had a beautiful bathroom, <laughs> which I don't, I don't even have a drawer in my bathroom, but if I did, I would love to display all this like a spa, like out on the counter. I feel like you have a luxurious spa treatment every time you go into your own bathroom. <gasps> a candle, I love candles. Okay, honey, fig, and ginger. This is from Killig Candle Co, 100% soy wax. This is valued at 12 USD. Ooh, it has a zing of ginger, it says. I'm really excited to give this a sniff. Oh my gosh, it smells like the zing is there, but it smells so fresh, like clean. I really like this. This is perfect for summer. Honestly, honey, ginger, and fig are like three of my favorite things. I feel like this is such a good gift. Like if someone sent this to me as a gift, it would be 10 out of 10. Okay, now we have something by Province Apothecary. Uh, apothecary, I always say that word wrong and I catch it later. <laughs> I mix up the T and the C. This is invigorating and balancing toner with rose and geranium. This is valued at 18 USD. The cooling floral essence based toner is a vital part of your everyday skincare routine, feeding your skin, nourishing botanicals and rebalancing after cleansing. Everything is so pretty. How do they do it? Oh, and there's something else from this brand. There's one more thing. Moisturizing oil cleanser and makeup remover. This has avocado and raspberry, and this value is at 44 USD. Holy, okay, just a second. I'm gonna add up the value of all of this. 44 plus 18 plus 21 plus 29 plus 12. It's $124 value. So you double what you spend on the box, which is awesome. Also, this, is, uh, this isn't this is even out yet. So this is a sneak peek for the box that's coming out later this month, which is awesome. So this says, transform your skincare routine with the purifying organic oil cleanser. Use daily to thoroughly remove dirt, makeup, and pollution without disrupting the natural pH of your skin. And apparently this brand is very high quality just based off of, just based off the price alone. Y'all, this stuff is all full of stuff that I would be so thrilled to get. So good, so good. Thank you GU Box for sending this over and letting me unbox this in one of these vlogs. Like I said, I'll link this down below and I'll have the promo code and everything down below for you as well. Love a little unboxing in a vlog every now and then. They make me really happy. They really, really do. So someone is coming to pick up our old couches here in about an hour. So I we thoroughly cleaned the couches and everything yesterday, but I wanna clean them one more time before she comes and picks them up so that they're as pristine as possible. But after that point, let's, let's have matcha together and let's catch up. Also, I need to do a return anthropology and I'm out of foundation. And I can't decide if I wanna do that today or not, but if I do do that today, I'll take you with me as well. These shorts that I ordered from anthropology in a mail time, they're so cute. 
and I first got a small and they were way too big on my waist and so then I got an extra small and they fit my waist but they're way too tight on my thighs which is a very common problem for me when it comes to finding bottoms that actually fit. So it's very sad because I think these are adorable, but I'm gonna go ahead and return them. I did take off the tag, not really thinking. Hopefully that's not an issue. But the cost of these shorts will more than cover the cost of my foundation, which kind of works out nice. I always love return, not returning, but like justifying money I'm spending because then I don't feel guilty about getting things, even if it's foundation, which is like, not a necessity, but more essential than other frivolous purchases. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like the new rug? Is it so soft? Do you like it? You like it? Okay. <laughs> We are in the middle of moving everything around. I'm trying to get clips for like the home redo video and remember to vlog at the same time, but our furniture is gone and we moved the media console over here because a friend of mine is gonna come pick it up. And the next thing we're gonna do is take down the TV and move the third bookshelf from outside where the TV is and eventually set the TV over here we're just gonna set it on top of that until our um, new piece of furniture comes in as our media console, which will be a while. Oh, also sometime today our coffee table's supposed to get here. Lots of changes. This dude's already sweaty. Lots of changes. This is your first uh, appearance in this vlog. Hello. He says, hello. Um, I also cleaned under our rug. It gets, oh, you're doing that alone? Oh, I thought you were taking it down. I was like, let me help you. It's surprisingly dirty under a rug. Okay, I'm gonna help Brooke move the TV now. This is one thing that I'm wondering. So our couch is going to go horizontal and the rug is currently horizontal, but this room shape is vertical. So now there's all this blank space, which is technically now put up part of our den. It was part of our walkway, but now it's gonna be part of our den. So I'm wondering, do we turn the rug vertical even though our couch will be horizontal? Or do we leave it the way it is and have like this blank space, a floor before a media console? That's the question. Okay, tea time and life updates. Got my matcha. Mm, okay, so what should I tell you first? Do you answer the label or health? I'll start with health. So I got my blood work back and I actually haven't talked to my doctor yet. I just got it through like my portal, like my patient portal. Let me sign in so I can pull it back up. Good news, bad news. Good news is everything looks normal, which is awesome because that rules out lupus that rules out thyroid issues that rules out anemia and then just like some general panel stuff that i don't know like cholesterol's good like you know the normal stuff is all good there's a big fly in here can you hear it? also speaking about hearing things this mic has been acting up lately where it like like and i really hope that's not happening now i can hear a very similar noise coming from my froth but uh, part of me obviously is so relieved that it's not a thyroid issue or it doesn't seem to be lupus or any of those things. But then part of me is like, well, now what? <laughs> like back from square one, I, I want to ask her, I want to get a full like allergy panel done because at this point it's probably an allergy or maybe it is viral. Maybe the dermatologist was right and it's some sort of weird virus because we didn't test for anything like that in my blood work. But you know what's so funny? There was one thing, let me see. The one and only thing that showed up as a not quite normal, it wasn't far off enough to be a concern, but it was just too low is, I'll try, I'm trying to find the exact thing because I know that there's a lot of doctors and pre-med students and stuff in this community. Yes, okay. If you watched last week's vlog, you know that I was honestly too dramatic, very emotional. Still, again, I'm embarrassed by that and I'm sorry. Uh, just trying to keep it real here on the vlog because the nurse was so mean to me and she kept accusing me over and over of being dehydrated, which is why she couldn't take my blood. Mind you, it's been a whole week and this bruise is still healing. But the only thing that came off as not quite correct was my UREA nitrogen levels, also known as BUN, B-U-N. I don't know if that's pronounced urea or if it is UREA, but like I said, haven't talked to my doctor yet. It's not low enough to where it was like a, a big concern, but typically that level is low if you're overhydrated. And I forced myself to drink so much water before my blood work because I, I know, like I said last week, I have such difficult veins. And so I just thought it was funny. I want to send this to that nurse and be like, see, I told you I drank a lot of water. My blood work literally says so. I don't know if it could be low for other reasons and perhaps it could be. I think it has to do with your liver. I know if it's high, you that's when it's concerned because your liver isn't processing things, but if it's low, then your liver is like over processing or overhydrated. 
I don't know. I'm not a med student at all. That's just my understanding of it. People could probably clarify that a little bit better in the comments, but I just thought that was so funny. Uh, my rash, it's kind of healing a little bit. It's like flaking off. It's starting to spread to this side a little bit, but I'm kind of wondering if it's actually starting the process of going away, meaning this time around it would have only lasted a month-ish, whereas last time it lasted like five months. It would be great if this stopped spreading. So maybe this rash is a completely different thing. Who knows? I honestly don't even know. Um, I have had some good days and I have had some really bad days. Yesterday was a really bad day. I was so incredibly tired, headache, not hungry, took multiple naps. Today I'm feeling pretty good, which is awesome. Given today I haven't really eaten, which is also interesting. What have I had today? Today I've had some hippies and it's 2 p.m. I wonder if that has any correlation. Anyways, long story short is I don't know, <laughs> but I also wanted to give you an update on Jancy the Label because I posted on my Instagram that I've had these scrunchies in the works for six months and we decided to scrap this. This bee, which is so cute, I had an artist friend here in LA draw this bee up for me and we had these in three different colors. We had them in navy and in like a mossy green color and in a yellow color. Uh, we have been working on these literally for six months, um, since end of February, early March, I think. And the reason that we scrapped it, I, I'm gonna be so transparent here and probably too transparent and I hope this isn't like spilling the tea too much, but my crew neck was in the works forever and ever and ever and ever. And Kristen Johns has a company called Kristen Made, ended up coming out with a crew neck a little bit before mine. And they did look a little bit similar. And I got a couple comments being like, hmm, this kind of reminds me of Kristen Made. I don't think in like an accusatory way. And I kind of thought the same thing too, honestly, even though like obviously I hadn't released mine yet and mine had been in the works since before hers were in the works. And I already know that like we have a lot of viewers that overlap because we are kind of similar even though I am by far the way smaller creator here in this situation and we found out a couple weeks ago she just released scrunchies <laughs> and I did not want to be accused of um, being too similar I would hate to be accused of being too similar and uh, even though like I said, these have been in the works for over six months now so I decided it would just be better to scrap it all together because that's a very tricky area. It's a very tricky thing. It's better anyways for me to just try to put out products that are, you know, not being put out right now by other specific young female Christian YouTubers, you know? So um, we are pivoting. The process of creating these products has been so long. I have pivoted to a whole new producer, so it was kind of like starting from scratch. We will have a shirt, a t-shirt coming out, and I those are already in the works, so those should be done in like four to six weeks, I'm hoping, and then we have the process of, you know, getting the photo shoot done and up on the website and everything, so I'm hoping in no more than two months it'll come out. And then the secondary product, hold for plain that will have this super cute bee on it. Who knows the timeline for that because we are starting all over. I'm really excited for it. I'm actually even more excited than these scrunchies, even though I have loved these scrunchies and have been wearing them in my hair forever. I'm sure y'all have seen me kind of sneak peek talk about them in some blogs back in the past. And who knows, maybe one day I will do scrunchies again when the time is right. But the other product I think will be perfect. This was supposed to be a summer launch, but at this rate, it's gonna be coming out more in fall and it's actually very fall appropriate and very cozy and very loungewear. And I think it's more in line with loungewear than a scrunchie is, even though, you know, you sleep in a silk scrunchie to keep your hair looking good. So yeah, it's a pivot, but I'm excited for it. I think it's the right move. Wow, this vlog is gonna be so long. Hopefully you're, <laughs> hopefully you're okay with a long vlog this week. That's my pivot. Really truly hoping that things come out in the right time and we are hopefully the product after these two will be sweatpants and I would love to get the sweatpants out before Christmas so that people can give them to each other as Christmas presents but at this point I've become very cautious with my timelines because like I said I was hoping to have these couple of products out a couple months ago and it, it's hard guys. It, I understand why so many companies just resell wholesale products like they will buy it and then at like a wholesale price and then sell it at like a marked up price like like Aspen Ovar it's clothing line and people like th that makes so much sense why people will do that it's it's much quicker <laughs> than creating something custom <laughs> but hopefully it's worth it to y'all that 
it will be one of a kind and every single detail will be so thoroughly thought about and intentional and nothing but the highest, utmost highest quality. So hopefully it'll be worth it. Thank you for your patience and thank you for letting me be able to be super transparent about my decisions behind everything. It's a weird tiptoey world. I just want to, you know, always try to do the right thing. And I don't want to come out with things too similar to other things that people are putting out because that's a, like I said, a tricky world. I'm just going to accept the fact that this is a long vlog and Brooke and I are going to go run a couple errands. I am going to make that return and get some foundation because <laughs> he needs to get some screws and stuff for his TV because we have to temporarily put the legs back on the TV until our furniture comes in so that we know where like appropriate height. That's not a sentence. What the appropriate height would be to mount the TV which we don't quite know until we have the furniture in place so we can visually see it. So um, we're gonna run those few errands and I will take you along with me and this is gonna be a really long vlog. Cheers. We're in the lighting section at Target and I'm trying to find a light that could be a really cool hanging pendant, but that has a plug because we don't have the hardware, the hard wire in our place. And they just, they, they don't exist. They're all these, but I don't like the way those look. Oh my gosh, this looks exactly like our castlery mirror. But that's, 50 bucks instead of 200 bucks. Well, it was free. <laughs> we decided that it's too early for dinner because it's 4 p.m., but we both not really had anything to eat today. So we got smoothies and together it's Barney. Brooke forgot that Barney was purple and green. Oh, also, this is not what I was gonna say, but I also got a gluten-free chocolate peanut butter, chocolate chip peanut butter cookie sandwich. <laughs> and apparently, I still got to cash in my Sephora birthday thing, so I picked out some hair masks because I always love hair masks. She also told me she gave me some samples. Oh, purple shampoo, ooh, water sleeping mask, and deep hydration face cream from Fresh. So it's been very exciting, to say the least. How's your smoothie? Delicious. Oh, good. I'm going to try this cookie with y'all and then I'm just gonna clean up and we have friend, friend, we have friend coming to pick up a lot of the furniture that we're getting rid of. I just am giving, I, we sold our couch and our armchair, but the rest I'm just giving away to a friend that needs to furnish her apartment because why try to sell things when you have a friend that needs things, right? So I'll probably end the vlog after trying this cookie, because um, it's not gonna be very interesting for y'all for the rest of the day, but you know what I just realized? A half a cookie sandwich is still a full cookie, plus frosting. So who came out on top? Me, excited to give it a try. That could not be healthy. They market it like it's healthy. It's so good, it's so good. There's, it's just butter and sugar. <laughs> They market it saying healthy energy, protein rich, dietary fiber, and brain function. When the ingredients are brown rice flour, white rice flour, buttermilk, then it goes down to chocolate chips, unsalted butter, powdered sugar, granulated sugar, brown sugar, peanut butter. <sighs> Don't trust marketing guys. This is not healthy, but it's so good and it's so worth it. Mm. All right, Max, I'm coming. Thank you for letting me be honest, probably to a fault with you about everything going in my life. Can you let Max out? Huh? I'm trying to, I'm trying to end the vlog. Yeah. This cookie is really good. Wait, do you want to try this cookie? I'm not ending the vlog yet. Okay, it's really good. Here, I'll come stand up with you. That was a big bite. What's the cream? <laughs> powdered sugar and butter and peanut butter whoa <laughs> it's good yeah it's very rich yeah it's really good it's definitely a cookie to split <laughs> anyways do you want to say bye to the vlog with me bye vlog do you love them i love you i was telling them that i i'm thankful that they allow me to be overly open and honest with them about everything and for the most part are not judgmental <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> that means there's like 6,000 people that are so nice and cool and sweet and non-judgmental and that's just the coolest thing. Okay, we're gonna clean up in here. I love you. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye.